my dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, I come here with a grateful heart, a heart that filled with thanks, a heart filled with gratitude. Our life begins with mother and even Jesus' life began with Mother Mary, ended with Mother Mary. As we come together on this last day of this year, we thank God. And as we begin the new year, again we seek His grace. So my dear brothers and sisters, we offer this Mass as a thanksgiving. Also, we seek God's grace for the year 2021. Indeed, we are blessed to have our dear Father Patrick to celebrate this Mass for us and to thank God on our behalf. As we thank God, we pray for these intentions in honor of Mother Mary, offered by Mr. and Mrs. Leo de Costa and family, offered by Felix Purti and family, Jerome and Anita McQuan, thanksgiving to Our Lady of Rosary for 53 years of married life, offered by Benjamin and Macrina Narona, a special intention offered by Edwin Rodriguez for the peace for a world world offered by Mr. and Mrs. Vinubai Kapadia, a speedy recovery of our parishioner Francis, now residing in Canada, offered by Shailesh B. Parmar. Thanksgiving for the wedding anniversary offered by Savio and Merlin. Along with these intentions, we pray for all your intentions and thank God for the gift of this, our different year, yet we are in the hands of God in safe and sound. So, my dear brothers and sisters, with gratitude and with grateful hearts, let us thank God in this Holy Mass. Hail, Holy Mother, who gave birth to the King, who rules heaven and earth forever. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, today is a very special day for all of us. As we complete the year 2020, we are entering into the new year 2021. And the Mother Church today in a special way celebrates this day with Mother Mary. A Mary, Mother of God. Just to give importance to Jesus. It's not Mother, it's a, Mother Mary is a Mother of God, but the child who is born of Mary is nothing but God himself. That is the meaning of this feast. And you know, brothers and sisters, these days, the time is very, very uncertain and confusing. Everywhere you hear the various people's experiences of desolation death, sickness, lockdown, unemployment, frustration, financial misery, farmer's problem, 
so on, so on and on. So many problems, uncertainties, confusion that is existing the present time. And this time we are entering into the new year 2021. And God, form of a child, wanted to visit his people. We have welcomed him. And now as we enter into the new year, we also pray to him, the mist of desolation, the mist of misery, Lord, you be born in these experiences into our hearts to make the desolation experience into a kind of a consolation experience. And Mother Mary also might have gone through this kind of uh, uncertainty and confusion when she started the journey with Jesus. And surely it has been very difficult for her to understand a number of things, but yet she believed, she believed Jesus. She believed the plan of God. And for you and for me, surely there will be a plan of God for this new year. To know that we need to constantly in relation with God. So at this juncture, the choice that given to us is to spend the year with Christ or without Christ. It is a choice given to all of us. So let us take a promise or kind of a resolution that the whole year we may spend the year always with Christ. That is the only solution we have at this present time of desolation. So, my dear friends, the year that has gone already, let us recall to our mind those moments where we have not recognized Jesus in our life. We have lived our life without Jesus and asked the Lord pardon and forgiveness. Dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, God and, and to you, my brothers, brothers and sisters, sisters that, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, O Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us all together, in the beginning of the new year, sing glory to God. Glory to God in the highest feast to all the people He loves. Glory be to the peace to His friends. Heavenly King, mighty Lord, we worship you, we give you thanks. Praise to you for your great saving love. Jesus, the Son of the Father, Lamb of God, you take away all our sins and our mercy. On us. You who sin at 
the right hand of the Father, you're our bread. Look on us, feed our crown, Lamb of God. For you alone are the Holy One, and you alone are the Lord. You alone are the Son, Jesus Christ. To the Spirit we sing, Let us pray. O God, who through the fruitful virginity of blessed Mary bestowed on the human race the grace of eternal salvation, grant, we pray, that we may experience the intercession of her through whom we, have, we were found worthy to receive the author of life, our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Numbers, chapter 6, verses 22 to 27. The Lord spoke to Moses and said, Say this to Aaron and his sons, This is how you are to bless the sons of Israel. You shall say to them, May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord let his face shine on you and be gracious to you. May the Lord uncover his face to you and bring you peace. This is how they are to call down my name on the sons of Israel, and I will bless them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God sent his son, born of woman. Second reading, a reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians, chapter 4, verses 4 to 7. When the appointed time came, God sent his son, born of a woman, born a subject of the law, to redeem the subjects of the law and to enable us to adopt as sons. The proof that you are sons is that God has sent the spirit of his son into our hearts. The spirit that cries, 
Abba Father. And it is that makes you a son. You are not a slave anymore. And if God has made you son, then he has made you heir. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The shepherds hurried away to Bethlehem and found Mary and Joseph and the baby lying in the manger. When they saw the child, they repeated what they had been told about him. And everyone who heard it was astonished at what the shepherds had to say. As for Mary, she treasured all these things and pondered them in her heart. And the shepherds went back glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen. It was exactly as they had been told. When the eighth day came and the child was to be circumcised, they gave him the name Jesus, the name the angel had given him before his conception. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, so we are very happy celebrating, welcoming the new year 2021. I was thinking what message we can have for this new year among this pandemic, the miseries that we are experiencing these days. I thought these words would be very suitable for this season. Think different, be different. This may be the message this Christmas season and the New Year is giving to us. And Mary and Joseph were part of this message. Think different and be different. Today the biggest problem that we are facing is of depression. There are so many conflicts. There are so many problems, one after the another. There are more choices. The more choices we have, the more confused mind we have what to choose. The more choices, the more depression, which is the best, we don't know. 
So everywhere is existing this confusion, uncertainty, and a kind of a problem, you know, a kind of a darkness around. And this time, like a light, baby Jesus is coming to us, a kind of a light in the darkness. So that the new year becomes more and more bright for every Christian because Jesus is with us. So that's why we need to think differently. Everything starts from our thoughts. What kind of thoughts that is going on in our mind? The thoughts controls our action. It controls our words. It directs. That's why Joseph and Mary, when they were chosen, there was a certain amount of confusion in them. Uncertainty, what is going to happen? But the moment they believed in Jesus, in God, the message that is given by the angel, they were quite clear and they started thinking differently. Now here we are, no more. A simple people, we are the servant of God. We are supposed to take care of the child of God. Our thinking changes. So in, a, in a African tribes, there is a, a kind of a practice, they call it Ubuntu. What is this Ubuntu? Whenever a tribal, peop, a tribal man, boy or girl, commit a mistake or do some kind of stealing or some kind of mischievous, they take the child and tie to a tree and they keep on all day and night giving all the positive things the man or the child has done. They keep on giving positive, you know, how good he was, how nice he was, what are, what are the good things that he did. So after a day, they just release him. And they found the moment they hear the amount of positive things about oneself, a kind of a transformation takes place there. And they become really good. That's why it is very, very important, like Mother Mary, she did not understand a number of things. She was only pondering what kind of uh, life Jesus is going to lead, what message is he is going to give, but still the faith, the positive attitude that changed her towards Jesus and she was ready to face whatever it is, provided it is the will of God. So whatever the experience that we go through throughout the year, let us take out the positive experiences and ponder over them so that we are able to strengthen ourselves with a lot of positive things. You know, when Nelson Mandela, it was uh, 2013, December 14, he died, there are 90 very important leaders of the various nations have gathered, thousands, lakhs of people gathered during his funeral. Why that man is so great, you know? It is because he simply forgi forgave the one who put him in jail for 27 years. And simply he said, it was uh, the one who put him in jail was uh, called John Waster. He wanted to kill him, in fact, but Nelson Mandela, when he was asked about him, no, he said, he is a gentle man, a simple man, nice man. I just forgave him. See, beautiful message. It, the thought, it simply changed his thoughts, his thinking process, everything became beautiful. That attracted the world leaders towards him. This is the beauty of it. So, today, we need to no, reflect in this time of hour. Let us not be controlled by many things. 
because various kind of things control our thinking process. The time of New Year, we need to have a kind of a resolution where we promise to God, a promise to ourselves, let me not be controlled by the five things. One is, let us not be controlled by the past. The past is gone. Let us not no, keep on no, reminding ourselves no, about various the bad experiences or somebody has given something bad or uh, negative experiences. Let us forget and get rid of it. Let the past do not control us. The second thing is, let others' opinion control us. There are so many people will be talking about you, mostly criticizing. But let us not be controlled by somebody else's thoughts or somebody else's opinion about us. The third thing is, let us not controlled by our own limitations. No, we think I am only limited. My boundary is this much. I have a certain amount of understanding about myself. No. Let us be open to God's intervention. Open to the people, to the experiences of various type, positive, negative, everything. Let us open ourselves. Let us put, do not put a boundary to oneself and restrict. So let us be open and go out. The fourth thing we should not be controlled is relationship. There are a number of relationships simply bind us. They don't allow us to go beyond. So let our relationship do not control us. And the fifth thing, of course, the money should not control us. Because every year, you know, in the beginning, we take a number of resolutions. Let us this time take these resolutions. Joseph, Mary, Jesus, they were not bound by all these things. If you, you know, read in the Bible their life, Jesus was quite a free man. Never controlled by money or relationship or uh, you know, people's opinion or anything. No, nothing controlled him that made him a kind of a free man to respond to God's call. And today we are called you know, to think different and be different. Let us not be controlled by so many things no, our external things. Let us be more free in this year and respond to God's call. And ask also Mother Mary as we celebrate no, a mother, a mother of God, a great personality. Let us imitate her in number of things to respond to Jesus and God's call. With this prayer, we continue this Mass. Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Let us together recite Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord blessed the people of Israel. He made his face shine upon them. The Lord was gracious to them. The Lord lifted up his countenance upon them and gave them peace. On this New Year's Day, let us pray for these and many other blessings on us from God our loving Father, saying, Lord, be gracious and bless us. Lord, be gracious and bless us. We pray for our Holy Mother Church and all the pastors 
that she may embrace and lead all the children of God in the way of peace, harmony, and joy. We pray, Lord, Lord be, be gracious, gracious and, and bless us. us. We pray for all mothers who make sacrifices in giving birth and nurturing their child, and they may learn from Mary, the Mother of God, to be patient, humble, so that like her, they may be rewarded abundantly. We pray, Lord, be gracious and bless us. We pray for the women and men specially consecrated to God in religious life, that they may learn to accept God's word and ponder them in their hearts so that they may experience the fullness of joy in their life of consecration. We pray, Lord, be, Lord, be gracious, gracious and, and bless us. us. We pray for those who suffer on account of poverty, sickness, and rejection by others, that Jesus, the Son of God and Son of Mary, may spread their protective mantle around them. We pray, Lord, be gracious and bless we us. We pray for the dead, that they may rise uh, to new life and enjoy eternal peace with Mary and all the saints and angels in heaven. We pray, Lord, be gracious and bless us. Let us pause for a while for our personal needs and intentions. Lord, we surrender our lives to you and seek your peace. May we experience your gracious continence and blessing throughout this new year and spend our lives in service of you and our brothers and sisters. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Offertory. To the bank, but there's a place for you. Though you maybe have no money, though you maybe feel unworthy, in your sweat or in your weakness, you are welcome to come. Come to the bank, but there's a place for you. See you are an honored guest from constant serving you may rest so sit you down be fed and blessed for you are welcome come come to the banquet as a place for you whether you've been lost or faithful whether you've been wise or wasteful here's a place of rest and grace and you are welcome Come to the bank where there's a place for you Here is one who runs to meet you Loving arms stretch out to greet you Do not let your fear defeat you You are welcome, come Come to the bank where there's a place for you Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for, for the, the praise, praise and, and glory of his name, and for our good and the good of all his holy church. Let us pray. O God, who in your kindness begin all good things and bring them to fulfillment, grant to us who find joy in the solemnity of the Holy Mother of God, that just as we glory in the beginnings of your grace, so one day we may rejoice in its completion. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to praise and bless and glorify your name of the Blessed Virgin Mary. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, 
and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore and pass tremble before you, heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and bread of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and he entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Worship His Majesty, Jesus who died, now glorified, King of the Days. Majesty, worship His Majesty, Jesus who died, now glorified, King of the Days. Jesus who died, now glorified, King of all days. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Godfrey, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ.
through him and with him and in him o god almighty father in the unity of the holy spirit all glory and honor is yours forever and ever amen as one family let us say the prayer jesus taught us our father, our father who, who art in heaven hallowed be thy name, name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come thy, thy will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven, heaven. give us, us this day our daily bread and forgive, forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil deliver us lord we pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our savior jesus christ for the kingdom the power and the glory are yours now and forever lord jesus christ who said your apostles peace i leave you my peace i give you look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever amen the peace of the lord be with you always and with your spirit let us offer each other in the sign of peace peace be with you peace be with you peace be with you may this mingling of the body and blood of our lord jesus christ bring eternal life to us receive it lamb of god you take away take the away sins, the sins of, the of the world have mercy, have mercy on us, us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
my dear brothers and sisters wishing you all on behalf of all the fathers of rosie parish and our main celebrant father patrick for offering this mass wishing you all a very happy new year 2021 as the people always say that this 2020 has given us nothing and therefore let us delete it let us delete it from our own calendar from all our life and welcome 2021 but my dear brothers and sisters 2020 though it was different yet it was very special for each one of us it has taught us a great lesson and brought us all close to one another and to God as well and therefore my dear brothers and sisters let us pray that this new year 2021 will bring down graces and blessings on us on our family and on the worldwide so that people may continue loving caring and sharing God's love with one another secondly my dear brothers and sisters I'd like to thank Father Patrick for offering this mass giving us a beautiful message and we pray for him as well for his own ministry as a principal of the school that the Lord may give him the strength and the courage to continue the good work that the Lord has entrusted to him secondly Bonnie our Jennifer studio gets all the credit because it is because of him we are able to reach out to you if Bonnie was not with us, I'm sure we would have not been serving you with this spiritual and visual, uh, virtual prayer service and mass. So I would like to thank Bonnie for all these nine to ten months he is with us, giving his valuable time so that we may all reach out to you in the spiritual way. So thank you, Bonnie, and God bless you. I'd like to also inform you and thank Joyce Rajput for moderating the Zoom Mass that we have started from 15th of this month. And also a good news that the interdiocesan Western region, the Christmas carol singing competition, Joyce Rajput and her team participated and they stood best amongst the first three and it was also announced that the diocese of Baroda that is Joyce Rajput and her group and the diocese of Pune and the diocese of Vasai these were the best three that participated and stood so I'd like to thank and congratulate Joy, uh, Joyce Rajput and her team for making us proud not only Rosary Parish but the Diocese of Baroda at large. Quinton and his whole choir team for sending us the hymns during these days and also during the Christmas and the New Year uh, hymns that we just played for you and also the carols that they sang for us during the Christmas midnight. So I'd like to thank Quinton and his team for all his support. Rosary Youth, the Corona Marshal who helped us during this 25th of December Christmas Mass. They were there helping all the people to see that social distancing and the uh, law and order, the government rules and regulations were strictly followed and this decoration that you see inside the church were prepared by Sydney and his team so I'd like to thank each one of them and the crib that was outside that is being prepared by the Gujarati youth group I would like to thank them as well and the crib that is before you is being prepared by the Silo Malankara youth a different concept beautiful concept and like to thank them from the bottom of my heart because it was a real a beautiful uh, Christmas uh, crib that they have prepared for us Dominic Rosario for sending security during the 25th uh, 
day mass during the church here and Fatima for all her service every day in the morning she comes sits in the office waiting for you and now in the evening also in this COVID situation yet she is giving her service to the church so I'd like to thank her as well Mahesh for the church decoration the lighting that you see outside and Pilar sisters for the flowers and altar preparation so I'd like to thank them all and you one another my dear brothers and sisters we pray during this 2021 that you all be kept be close to God to his heart and that you may be blessed with graces and good health wish you once again a very happy new year 2021 may it be a proper, prosperous one for each one of us god bless you stay safe and be safe Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Let us pray. We have received this heavenly sacrament with joy, O Lord. Grant, we pray, that it may lead us to eternal life, for we rejoice to proclaim the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of your Son and Mother of the Church, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us receive God's blessing. May God, the source and origin of all blessing, grant you grace, pour out his blessing in abundance, and keep you safe from harm throughout the year. Amen. May he give you integrity in the faith, endurance in hope, and perseverance in charity with holy patience to the end. Amen. May he order your days and your deeds in his peace, grant your prayers in this and in every place, and lead you happily to eternal life. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. To the Lord.